Hey friends, folks, and viewers, it's Jazz here at Jazz OCR Athlete and at Urban OCR. And I'm making a video today to show you how to make some weights. Now, not all of us have that luxury of having a home gym or we're not that privileged or we just don't have access to friends' houses that have garage gyms and things like that. So, you know, we got to be crafty and uh, we got to try to make our own weights, right? We got to try to get those workouts in. And uh, you know, not, not lose a step. Now here I made these 30 pound weights. They resemble a kettlebell, but they can be used pretty versatilely, right? <laughs> like anything else with a kettlebell. They're uh, obviously not as stable as kettlebells, but they work, they do the job. Another thing, you see all these guys posting videos out there, uh, and, and not, 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 to, not to knock any of those guys, it's great what they're doing. There's, there's people are coming together, the community is coming together, and it's great. But you see all these videos and you see all these guys with a whole bunch of gym equipment all these great fancy things and the little nice home gyms and, and post, posting all these workouts but again that's not practical for many people it's not realistic for many people and people can't get to, to, to those people their houses and and um you know what are we going to do so we have to we have to kind of do things uh on our own and just kind of make it happen and the best way to do that is to make our own weights and create our own workouts so that's what I'm going to try to provide for you, for you today, because this is what's more realistic at this point. Uh, not having to spend a lot of money, people are out of work, they're out of jobs, they don't want to start to spend all the money on kettlebells and dumb dumbbells and, and uh, barbells and uh, resistant bands, you can't even get them right now. So, you know, this is a pretty cheap way. You go to Lowe's, all this stuff that I, uh, or Home Depot, you get all this stuff that I bought, it's fully in stock, there's plenty of it, and so you're, gonna, you're not going to have any problems to be able to... Uh, you know, get yourself uh, some equipment to work out for the next couple of months. So we're gonna have a, make, this a makeshift weights. So all we need here is some river rocks. These river rocks, so these are about 350 a bag to get at Lowe's. We're gonna have a one and a half inch uh, little pipe. It's called a sink tail piece, right? And this has a little lip here, so we're gonna cut that off. And it's a one and a half inch, right? These are like 280 in lows as well. We need two sandbags. These are a dollar, I mean, uh, 45 cents each. And you're gonna need a scale, which I'm gonna put over here. Some level ground. And this is where it's a little tricky, so it's a little bit harder for some people might not have access to things like this. This is called a uh, jigsaw by skill. And we're gonna need that to cut a piece of plastic off this. Plug that in over here. Right, we'll use that for later. All right, so basically, oh yeah, you're gonna need some tape and some scissors. All right, so this is a duct tape by Gorilla. It's a very strong hold, adhesive hold. Really, really good. A little more expensive than other duct tapes, but this is definitely superior as far as the hold. Now I use sand and rocks to weight this bag because uh, you know if you just get rocks, it might it might cost a little bit more. You know, sand is free. I just go to the beach. If you don't live near a beach, then uh, then you might have to buy sand, which is about uh, like four four or five dollars a bag or something like that. If you live near a beach, you grab a whole bunch, fill some bags up, and bring them home. So here, I did that already. I had a bunch of pre pre packed bags of sand as I use them all the time. All right, these, uh, these, these bags, uh, the length is about 26 inches. So I'm gonna go about 12 inches down. I'm gonna make a, uh, this is 30 pound. I'm gonna make a 40 pound bag today. So I'm gonna cut right down the middle. Now don't worry if it gets a little messy with the strings kind of popping out. Uh, you'll be able to fix that later. Uh, you can always take a tape measure and make sure these bags. Oh, this is 28 inches, not 26. And I went about a foot. Uh, yeah, I go about a foot, maybe 13 inches. I go about 13 inches. Okay. So right now it looks pretty neat, but as soon as I open this up, it's going to start to. It's like it's going to start to fray a little bit, but that's. 
to be able to take all that stuff later. So you open up this bag. Gotta get to the bottom here. And we're, gonna start, we're gonna start to fill it. Right, first we're gonna fill it up with a little bit of sand, then some rocks, and some sand. And you figure it's gonna be about 50-50 on each, each of these. And weighs a good amount, so uh, it's definitely good for so saving money on the rocks. Take a little closer look in here. Sand, All right? There's some rocks in here. And you can weigh any ways to go. Obviously, uh, if we were to weigh how much sand it is, we want to do half and half. You could actually start to weigh now. And, uh, it's 15.4 pounds. So most likely I'm going to have to add some more sand. But I'm going to add some rocks to it. That's the hard part. When you're, not, when you're doing it by yourself, you got only your hands. Uh, you can you know, I know I need, I need to rest that bag. Sure. Okay. And we got that. I'm going to add a little more sand. Five pounds worth of sand, you figure. If you could do half and half. Right here. 30 pounds. So I need to add 10 more pounds of weight. Okay. Now, for anyone who lives out here close to me in New York City, and if you like, if you like one or two or a pair of these, just let me know. I'll, I'll gladly make a few. Obviously, I'll have to charge you for, um, for, for a little bit of labor, but mostly parts, right? Because this stuff does cost money. But obviously, it's the cheapest way to get some weights without having to spend a whole lot of money on barbells, or dumbbells, or kettlebells. So, you know, it's just a makeshift weights. Take it back to our roots, man. Just, <laughs> just having to... Uh, Get strong other other ways, alternative ways before the era of like all these major gyms. Alright, get this bag, some rocks in here. You know like that the combination of the sand and the rocks helps to cushion the rocks a little bit. If you, if you did just these stones, it might be a little bit rough. So uh, let's just test this out. Here. The scale. 35.6 pounds. This should be close to 40 now. 39.2. So when I get that close, I can either add rocks, or in this particular case, I can add a scoop of sand. Point four. <laughs> so here, I'm going to first tie this together, All right? Because we got this, we, we got to fix this hole first. We want to make sure it's sealed up. So we're going to tie this hole. Here, when it gets like a little messy like this, just kind of cut these things off. So I can make sure I get this not too tight. Something might be stopping me. So we make sure it goes away. Okay. So we want to make sure we seal this first. So I'll take a piece of tape here. Feel like you have to obviously put more. That's okay. Right, so 
now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and put it into this bag. Well, first, we're going to need to cut this bag as well. You might as well just cut it first, so you don't have to cut it when it's on there. Same thing we did before, right down the middle. Open up that bag. If you have someone to help you during this, great. You know, if you need a little bit of help doing things like this, you can have that. Okay. Now, before we get this up, we have to take this little uh, pipe piece that you can get in any store, Lowe's, Home Depot, you go to the plumbing section, you can find that. Again, it's a one and a half inch, one and a half inch inlet. I don't know if you can see that. Is it clear? Good. Alright, so we're going to cut about a half an inch off. Uh, I'm going to eyeball it. You know, obviously you could measure it if you want with a, with a tape measure. Come on over here, kid. Do you have a jigsaw? If you don't have a jigsaw, you could use a hacksaw, which is a manual saw with a really thin blade. That would work perfect for this. If you're not used to using power tools, then stay away from this. Don't even, don't even try to do it. A little bit, a little bit slanted, but that's okay. I'm just using this as a as a handle. So, and now I'm going to take each of these and cut off whatever little extra stuff I got going on here. All right, neaten this up a little bit. This should be fine. Take one end here. And cut this one. This is a little, a little bit tough to do when you have just one person working on it. But if you have someone that can, who's with you, they can just hold this here while you tape it up. Or, or you can just do pieces at a time, which I might just do right now. Twist, start at the bottom. Put the tape on the same direction that you're twisting. pieces at a time allows you to get really tight. Just really tight. Now I don't have to go to the very tippy top because uh, I'm going to be taping this down again. I'll show you what I mean later. Alright, so this is still, it's still flexible, we can still move it around, which is good. Now we're going to take this other piece from the, from the first bag, tuck it in here, and just basically try to twist it. You don't even have to use white tape. I just, I just am. But I'm saying you don't have to. This is what. This is the difference between me doing it by piece by piece and, and, and then and not. It didn't come out too neat. So I'm gonna do that again. 
piece by piece. top. I don't need this little section here, so I'm going to cut that off. Now, this is where we have, where we add the handle. Okay. So we get that through here. We'll send this one first, because it has a little flimsy piece here. Then, we'll send this taped side through. Make sure both ends come out. Okay. Pretty evenly you want. Come down here. Now if you look, you can see that the sides are pretty evenly, right? You gotta make sure that you pull them through evenly. And you're gonna tuck these down and you're gonna tape these these ends down to the handles, the side of the handles. And you could always adjust these, even if later on you don't like it, or they start to loosen up. You take out the tape that I'm gonna put right now, pull these through again. So, there you go. There, I would definitely recommend doing a piece at a time. Try to pull this tape as tight as you can. Working your way up. Down here. Down to the bottom. Pull that piece as tight as you can. I just want to reinforce this just a little bit more. So I'm going to put one other extra piece up here. Okay, you don't have to use white tape, like I said. You can use any tape, color tape you want. Uh, this brand of Gorilla Tape has uh, black, orange, silver. Now we have that, and then of course, that middle piece right here, I want to make sure no sand gets out. Now, I am gonna try to get a plastic bag for the other ones that I make, where I'm gonna do plastic first, because this sand still will get out, unfortunately. When these bags get a little old, they'll get out, or if uh, through the top here, if there's any little bit of hole, it'll find its way out. So, that you just have to expect. But for now, when they're new, I can take them indoors, work with them. You can slam them down a little bit, but I wouldn't slam them down too much. Uh, because, you know, they, they're just little, they're just bags, and they had, eventually they, they lose their integrity, these little sandbags here. So, uh, you know, they'll only last so long if you slam them around. But here we go. <laughs> it's a 40 pounds weight here. Feels really good. It's compact tight. It's enough to fit two hands here to do kettlebell swings. All right. You can do your deadlifts. You can do, if you need, if 40 pounds is enough, I'll need more to do deadlifts. You can do it from the side. Or just single arm deadlifts. Or good mornings or whatever. Yeah, so there you go. There you have it. So, hopefully you enjoy this again. Let me know if you want me to make you a pair of these, and then I'll try to get them to you. Uh, you can just Venmo me the money or PayPal or something. I'll make them and I'll bring them to your house if that's if that's what it takes. But I just want everyone to be out there. I want everyone to succeed. I want to try to help everyone as much as I can. You know, it's a tough time right now. I know people should be coming together and just trying to get through this. Americans, gotta gotta stand up, man. Stand up through all this time. So uh, let's stay strong. Uh, hopefully, 
you will enjoy this and try it on your own. If not, reach out to me, let me know, and uh, I'll see you again real soon. Stay tuned for more exercise videos. Maybe I'll gonna use some of these in the process. All right, Jazz OCL Athlete, thanks again for tuning in. Check me out on YouTube, check me out on Instagram, and on Facebook. Talk to you soon.